I can't believe I've had this camera for over two years and I'm still trying to figure out how to do things on it, but that's neither here nor there. I am loving the natural light that's coming into my apartment as of now. I just literally walked 23 minutes to the nearest Dollar Tree because literally where I live, there is nothing. There is nothing close by, but I figured I needed to, you know, take a walk and get my steps in to go to the Dollar Tree. And I picked up these mirrors. They're kind of like decorative mirrors. So I bought three of them to place like right above my bed. I feel like it'll be real cute. I'll show you how I do that. Um, yeah, I saw in Dollar Tree and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. <laughs> Duh. And I also picked up these picture frames because there's this video on TikTok where people use like a Sharpie to like trace trace a cartoon or whatever and then they paint it I'll sh if I could find that TikTok I'll probably like link it on the side of this I want to try that I feel like it's, it would be a very relaxing sort of activity for me and friends or like me and a family member I finally bought a toothbrush holder because literally my toothbrush just be chilling on my like the side of my sink I bought one of these things, um, y'all know what this is, I don't even have to tell y'all, but if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically like a wall socket that has multiple sockets for you to plug multiple things. I bought wine glasses, so I literally found a wine that I actually like, I never drink wine because I feel like it just has that wine taste that I don't like. But I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up like some wine and I actually really like it. So I got me a wine glass. I got two of that. I got two of that. I picked up a mug also because I don't have many mugs and literally a mug that I bought maybe like a month ago just broke today. And I was just like... So, I, when I went to the Dollar Tree and I saw a mug, I definitely picked one up to replace that one. There's another one. Another wine glass. I don't know why I didn't open up the mug, so let's do that right now. Literally showed y'all, found a quarter, my wine glass, but didn't show y'all the mug. So it's just a basic blue mug. Oh, and this is to hold, um, basically, like, my paintbrushes when I do start painting. I bought two of these Clorox wipes for disinfecting around my space. Because COVID is still a thing, even though people try and act like it's not, it's still a thing. Um, I bought these two tool dial soap hand washes they're both limited edition and they're both a good side and these are just hand washes so i figured i'd pick that up and oh you know what's funny i have so much hand soaps and i told myself when i went to the dollar tree today that i will not be picking up hand soaps because i still have a lot and i saw those and i was like <laughs> I guess I'm picking hand soaps today. I was squatting throughout that whole haul. This is a plant that I bought from Trader Joe's and I read up on it and I heard it only thrives in like, in like, um, like moist areas or like humid, humid areas. That corner, I'm gonna get a hook. I'm gonna hook it in that area. And then I'm gonna hang this plant, be or I'm um, or I could just get like a shelf to put up here and hang it there because when I left it in the living room, I saw that it started to kind of like 
I don't want to say die, but like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me, let me see if I can find Like, it started to look like the tips were burning. And I got this app called Picture This that basically told me everything I need to know about this plant. You literally take a picture of a plant and then it finds the plant and then it tells you all about the plant. So if you're into plants, I definitely would suggest getting that app. So yeah, I mean, this plant was dying. <laughs> This is the table. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I hate it, because I don't. It's just not, in terms of building it, it's not what I thought. Because literally, there's no way to keep this part stable. It's just You kind of just plop it on top and boom, it's a table. Which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but it is what it is. Anyway, so I came back from work to a lovely package, which is my package from what the fuck is this? Savage X Fenty. And my battery is about to die. So I'm gonna do a full video on Savage X Fenty by someone who is not, you know, being paid by Savage X Fenty. It's gonna be an honest video look out for it but I actually thought this package was gonna come yesterday and so I wasn't gonna go home yesterday I was gonna come home to pick up the package look okay first of all let's get into this situation and this is how I set set it up all nice and I'm gonna put two art pieces beside it to make it look all like an art gallery I'm trying y'all lighting Okay, so first I went and bought this kind of like ribbed sports bra from Target. Um, it, what line is this? Colsey. It's just basic a basic ribbed sports bra, but I really liked the way it looked. It was giving me um, Skims vibes. And then I went ahead and bought this bra that was giving me very chill in the house not too bothered not trying to do the most all that good stuff so i bought that cute and then i bought another one it's the same as the orange but it's this is in black they have a green one that I was thinking about picking up, but I was like, you know what, let me just chill out for now. And yeah, it's basically the same as the orange, but just in black. I've been seeing TikTok videos about this um, body spray that supposedly smells like expensive. And y'all, this body spray smells so luxurious, so bougie so top notch and it's only $8.99 so if you have $8.99 to spare for like a new body like spray or something like that I highly suggest getting the mix bar blackberry tonic it smells super expensive and super bougie and I'm actually got glad I bought it I was like when I, this was the last one too the last one then I was like you know what let me do that. But you know, I have also been noticing that I am developing a little bit of a shopping addiction and I need to stop. Not necessarily just for clothes, but like for like just things in general. Like 
So I don't want to be that person that has a whole bunch of shit in the house. I just don't want to be that person. And I did come into this apartment with the idea of being a minimalist. So I just wanted to have very minimal things and I feel like that's not what's happening. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna calm down a little bit with the shopping, but I don't know, I just feel like whenever I buy stuff, I just feel cute, so, but yeah. I'm actually like not in the mood to be tired right now and I'm super tired. I had like a long, kind of like annoying day today. It was just not cute. I want to try this creamer that I also got from Target. This non-dairy creamer. I already tried the caramel macchiato inspired one. And this one is the hazel. This is inspired by the hazelnut latte. Yeah. Alright, so. I hang my um sponge on my shelf i don't know why i do that but yeah it's something that i do i have a little bit of coffee left yeah this is my favorite brand of coffee maxwell's house i love him so much so i'm just going to put a little here the coffee helps because literally you guys when i come home from work i just want to go to sleep and my brother was just telling me on the phone how, like, just, you know, get a life, basically. And, you know, in short, like, I know you moved out. I know you dig in your own space and not having to, you know, live with other people. But, you know, you should get out. Don't be such a, a introvert. So... I'm gonna take him up on that. I'm gonna put myself out there more. <laughs> but for right now, I'm trying to have energy to do pretty much anything at this point. Um, literally, when I come home from work, I'm ready to go to sleep. I wanna, I wanna buy a. See, here I go wanting to buy something else. I wanna get a frother to put like on top of my coffee to make it look like bougie. Okay. Not bad. I don't hate it. Thank God, cause I got two of them. If I hit it, that would suck. Okay, we're back. So I did a little bit of a haul. No, I bought a little bit, some stuff because I've been going through it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but your girl. Sorry for the ashy lips. But I'm breaking out. And yeah, I just saw that in HD. I'm so sorry, but yeah, I'm breaking out. So I've been watching on TikTok. A lot of people talk about these mighty patches and these like pimple patches or whatever. So I bought those. Um, I really can't tell you why I'm breaking out. It's kind of sad. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, I also bought Tumanu oil because I'm going to get back into making like body butters and doing kind of my own stuff because i have been buying a lot of creams and stuff but they don't they don't hit right i feel like they don't hit right i feel like this is as good as i've gotten as of late but everything else is kind of like not greasy enough and my skin has been on the dry side i've also been having like really cracked feet i am just like airing out all my business but <laughs> Yeah, like, I feel like part of, like, self-care is taking care of your feet, right? So, I went to Walmart for the first time in, like, years, and I bought this pumice stone, and it's, like, bruh, if you have crazy feet, oh, my feet ain't crazy. I do need to get it done, though. I do need to get it done. Um, but if you have, like, cracked or dry feet, that stuff, even if you don't have it, that stuff will, like, save your feet, like, 100%. Like, my feet are so smooth right now. But I kind of want to maintain it. Well, I don't kind of. I want to maintain the smoothness. So I bought that, and I also bought this healthy, what does it say? Healthy feet, four healthy feet. And 
we all need healthy feet, right? So. <laughs> Oh, what's up, y'all? It is nighttime. I'm getting ready to sleep because I have work in the morning. But I did want to come here real quick to show you the pimple patches. So we'll see in the morning. I put like, yeah, four on. We'll see in the morning how effective it is. If I don't come back and report to you guys tomorrow morning, then I'll let you guys know in a future video what that's about. I also have lilash lash on my eyelashes because I'm trying to I use I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys have been watching me for a long time but last year I definitely went ham with the lash extensions and I felt like my lashes hasn't recovered yet so I'm going the extra route in using light lash on my lashes to help them grow out um megan good actually was the one who put me onto it she was like she doesn't even use false lashes anymore that's what she uses so i've been trying it out on and off for about a couple of weeks i know with these things you have to be consistent but like i feel like i don't know this is what my lashes used to look like. So we'll see. This is, I got the six month formula. So in six months uh, you guys will see. But yeah, the pimp, this the real reason why I came to see you guys before I knock out is because of the pimp patches. And um, yeah, if I don't see you guys tomorrow, I'll definitely end this video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like videos like this, please thumbs it up and let me know what you think. Subscribe for more creative content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>